you don't get on the same page, this will be an absolute disaster. It's pretty much the last thing I want to deal with after I've been, you know, at, at my job all day. How was my boy today? Not too good. Oh, we always say that. Well, I got bit today. I'm exhausted, as usual. Got nothing done. How about I leave you for a day with him? Look, look, look. And here we go. Okay. Okay, so maybe you want to come down and let the dog out of the crate. Uh, after I decompress for a little yeah. while. You're going to decompress all right. You're going to decompress right out of here. I should be able to get a little relief at the end of a busy day. Oh, Indiana! Yeah, there we go. All right, Kay, you can grab that one. I'll get the next one. Am I foolish enough to think you would get up? Joe's good at dictating, but not at executing. You know what? I'd like to sit and eat, too. Do you not see the same yeah, thing I, was I do? Yeah, pushing him down. Why do you have to put him in the crate? The situation that we're in right now cannot continue. I actually feel hopeless at this point. Indiana, that's a no-no. I'd like you off the couch, even though <laughs> you can see that we no longer have right. couches. This is, all, this is all. This is all. This is all. His handiwork to, to Indiana, right? All here. of this. All, all of this. All of this destruction. All of yes. This. <gasps> it's a horror. There is so much damage in this house. The sofas, they're destroyed. Oh, no! Okay. No! This is another issue, and okay, now okay. he's starting to lift his leg. That was, that was marking. Yes. Is he neutered? Not no, yet. but we have an appointment to have him neutered. So you are getting him neutered, Absolutely. but just not yes. yet. All right. Yeah. It's slightly embarrassing to have Victoria see Indy's bad behavior. Chewing on furniture. This Indy. Indy. Lifting his leg and peeing on everything. Indy Anna, that's a no! I've only been in the house for no. a couple of minutes. It's insane. If you wanted to get him in the crate now, if you wanted to give him calm time, how would you do it? Well, I would try to grab his collar, at which point he'll start to bite me. Already what I'm seeing here, I don't like. Tell me about the history. Where did you get him? Well, that, that's that's a funny story because I was remiss for Mother's Day and I actually didn't buy her anything. So, we were in the mall, the local mall one day, and I went into the pet store because I didn't want to go exactly. into, the, into the shoe store with her. <laughs> and they're relentless in the pet store. We walked in, we saw him, and that's the end of the story. We bought him. Kind so of he's a puppy mill it. dog, really. Probably. Yeah. Oh, Indiana, okay. no! He's nuts. And the family, they have no control. Karen, I noticed that you're the one that's cleaning up. Yeah, Joe doesn't messes. move fast enough for me. Every single time Indy peed, it was Karen who cleaned it up. Joe did nothing. He would probably ask me to do it anyway. It's just a power struggle on who gets to clean up the pee and the poop. That makes me feel frustrated and mad. Victoria knew the couple needed a wake-up call, Joe in particular. The stress levels in this house, they're exhausting. Exhausting. Joe, I noticed in the first 15 minutes of being here after he lifted his leg three times that it's always Karen. Not always, but Not most always, of the time. Not always, but most of the time. That's right. I'll, I'll concede that, yes. I'm telling you, if you don't pitch in and help, and if you don't get on the same page, and if you're not consistent, this will be an absolute disaster, and that's one thing I can guarantee you. I was really glad when Victoria told Joe that he needs to step up more where Indy's concerned, because I've been telling him that for a long time, and I'm hoping that the fact that she said it to him will make a difference. You're gonna have to do it. My job is a full day. There's a lot of stress. I'm under pressure to produce numbers. A certain part of me wants to come down and say, hey, you know, could I help you? But after I do my day at work, I'm pretty much exhausted. Having seen the scope of Indiana's behavior, Victoria has a diagnosis she wants to share with the family. The tendency to get irritated very no. quickly no. and the inability no. to be affected by confrontational discipline is a classic case, textbook case, of hyperactivity disorder. Really? Textbook. Victoria's assessment of Indiana having a screw loose, um, I feel maybe a little premature because I don't really want to think that, you know, he's a special needs dog. I want to put a lot of things into place to see if he can calm down. Do you think he can? I'm very 50 50. You've got a working breed here. If this dog doesn't have its outlet, its needs met. It's not going to work here. Victoria doesn't seem very optimistic right now, and uh, that's scaring me. 
It's always upsetting when somebody cries when they realize that their dog might not be able to stay in their home. I would much prefer if Indiana could stay in the home, but it's up to them and the amount of work that they're prepared to put into him. You don't ever have even 30 minutes by yourself to read a book. True. So today, I'm going to take you for a little break, all right? Joe and the kids are going to be in charge. Oh. And you are going to come with me to the beach. Karen deserves the breather. She hardly ever gets any time to herself. And I also want Joe to see what it's like to spend a morning with the kids and the dog, with Karen not around. That's your escape bag? <laughs> exactly. OK. See you All guys. Right. Go Love for you. it. Bye. Bye, Indy. Bye. And Indy, you are not Try coming. Try to keep it together, Joe, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. See ya. Bye. In the off, I get to live her life when she's down at the beach. To throw it all at me like that was a little bit overwhelming. It's going to be a little bit different for me to kind of step into that role. <laughs> Shane? No! Please stop yelling. <laughs> I can't leave them on the floor, you know why? Because what if Indy comes, what if Indy comes and does pee? Indy, you got a poo? Come outside. He's got that trot. Look what you and Indy did to the couch. Who cares? There's nothing better coming to the beach and hearing those waves. That's all I wanted. Mm -hmm. oh. Come on, we're going to eat. It's hot. I told you. Of course it's hot. All right, come here. She's on the beach, and I'm here sweeping the floor. That, that works for me. Joe, I want this room clean. Pick up the stuff on the floor. Sit down and do your homework. Well, I, do you want me to clean up or do my homework? Joseph, I want you to do both. Come on. <coughs> Shane, you're making Daddy very tired. <coughs> it's like I'm on the top of the house in The Wizard of Oz at that scene when it's spiraling up out of control, looking down, saying, well, should I jump or not? Come on, Shay. No. Things just keep on getting worse for Joe. Let's go play with Indy for a little while. No! Oh, no! Come on. No! Stand up. No. It's a nice day out. Wow. Nice day out. I'm going to check in with Joe and the kids, see how they're getting along. Enjoy. Thank you, darling. Everything's taken care of. Thank you for this gift, because that's what it is, a gift. Thanks, Victoria. Nice I think if we are able to train Indy and get him to a place where he's a more manageable dog, the effect of that will be that I will have some more spare time for myself. Hey. Good boy. Hi. Hey. Hey, Joseph. There's quite a calm scene when I return, but something tells me that it hasn't always been that way. How are things been going? Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yep. Victoria decides to take advantage of Joe being home to do some training with him. No, uh, oh. no, 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 absolutely good. not. Do never let him jump at you and give him the treat, right. Joseph. You're standing there like a wet lettuce. <laughs> no. Here, come on. Andy. Indy, sit. Good. Good boy. Don't give it. That's it. That's it. Never allow him to jump Good up at you boy. like that. That's just behavior that we're trying to stop him from right. doing. Should we sit down? Karen is now enjoying herself. She's sitting on the beach. It's beautiful down there. She's reading her book. She's taking a little bit of time for herself. Good. I cleaned the house for Karen. You cleaned the house? Yeah, I, uh, I swept up. Well, look, I took all the... I did the doors in the front because she was complaining oh all the my finger gosh. prints. The kids basically did their homework and, and, and cleaned up their rooms. You did? This experience really has changed me as a person because I have a newfound respect for the job my wife does with my family. You don't really see it firsthand until you actually walk a mile in her shoes, and I did that today, and I can tell you I'm very really impressed. Indy sometimes goes to doggy daycare, and I wanted to see how he interacted with the other dogs there. And maybe this could be a place where he actually goes to more frequently. <laughs> got, that's quite, this is quite a lesson. When Indy came into the room, it was mayhem. <laughs> I, think, I think there's going to be a fight. When Indy initially went into the pen area, I was a little bit nervous because I saw him being bullied by all of the other dogs. So I was starting to kind of feel a little bit overprotective, which seems a little odd for the relationship that Indy and I have. He deals with it pretty well. You can see that he's doing a lot of, now he's trying to elicit play. 
and dealing with quite a lot of bullies. This dog especially sort of putting him in his place all the time and pushing him around. He's also giving a lot of submission um, signals. I know obviously it's not the litter, but how does this relate to him, like dogs teaching him social skills? Is that exactly what's going on here? Yeah, they... totally. Totally. He's learning how to take care of himself. And these dogs, a putting him in his place. A lot of it we understand, a lot of it we don't. But there are so many signals. And like she just told him to she just told him to be off. Initially, when Indiana went in, there was a surge of energy amongst the dogs. But once he'd been accepted, they all calmed down, and that was really good to see. Have you noticed anything different about him? Because here he's sort of really displaying very normal puppyish kind okay. of behavior. But at home it's a different deal. Yeah, I didn't even know you were having a problem at home because he's he's not bad here. The fact that he's got so much distraction here is a good exactly. thing. How often could you get him here? Because I'm thinking that maybe twice a week it would be good for him instead of spending his day in the crate, it would be good for him to come down here. Yeah, and that would be ideal for us. I mean, we're, we're trying to work it out where we can possibly do two days. I'm happy that Victoria is recommending um, doggy daycare for Indy. On the other end of that, it's just another added expense that we didn't expect to have to encounter. Well, thank you for letting us come and see. Oh, I think pleasure. this is really encouraging, and the fact that you can get out some energy in here. Now I'll let you get him out. <laughs> By the end of the day, if he doesn't come back a tired dog, then I'm going to call him a bionic dog. Thank you. Nice You're to welcome. meet you. you bye too. bye. Take care. See you. Victoria Stillwell knows it will take a lot more time and energy to help Indiana and asks Joe if he can make that commitment. Now, realistically, are you going to be able to give him that kind of outlet that he needs to engage your sons in the play, to devote the time every day to this kind of stuff? I'm going to give it my all. I really am. Have him by your side. Victoria doesn't waste any time. I want you to get him to sit because you stand in front of him and say sit okay. with a hand signal. Okay. I don't want you to jerk him into a sit. All right. Indy, sit. Nice. Okay. Tell him to stay. 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 And then you say, ready? Ready. Go again. Nice. Nice. Good. Good. Joe seems to be really grateful for the training that I've done with them. He really sees that there could be potential that, you know, Indiana's going to stay. If they continue with the work that we've been doing. <laughs> Bye, Joseph. I think Indiana's going to thrive. Hey, that is... you're a good man. Thank you. The whole family now sees what kind of positive influence Indiana could be on us, and we really want him around. When Indy has the appropriate amount of exercise and stimulation, you know, he becomes a different dog. Come on, big boy, let's go. Wait. To everyone's surprise, Joe has kept up with his end of the bargain. Come on and it shows. Good boy. My connection with him really has grown for the simple fact that he's accepting the training that I'm giving him, and that makes me feel good. Go get it. I just announced to Karen the other day that this dog is with us for the long haul, and we're not getting rid of him for any reason. Good boy. Seeing how much Indy has improved is a testament to the time that Joe, Karen, and the boys have put into training him. I couldn't be more proud of this family. Good boy. Good boy, Andy. Good, Good boy. job. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.